If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. We're going to draw a free body diagram of the platform that the window washers are standing on. We have the weight of Bob of 750 newtons, and then we have the weight of the platform itself, 345 newtons. Notice that the weight of the platform is acting at the geometric center of the platform, and that's why it's located 1.5 meters from the left end. We have the washing material weight of 500 newtons and then the weight of Joe of 1,000 newtons. Now to balance these downward acting forces, there are two upward acting forces, the tension in the left rope and the tension in the right rope. Now in order to solve for the tension in the right rope, we will select a pivot at the far left end of the board. And then we will turn to Newton's second law as it relates to torque. And in this case, we can say that the sum of the torques is equal to zero since the platform is in translational equilibrium. So what we're going to do is fill in all the torques into this equation. Now, the torque produced by this force is actually zero because that force is passing through the pivot. For the 750 Newton force, what we do is multiply that force times the distance from that force to the pivot, which is one meter, and then we multiply by the sine of the angle between that force and the platform. Now hopefully we can see that the angle between the force and the platform is 90 degrees. In fact, for all forces, the angle will be 90 degrees. And we know that the sine of 90 is equal to 1. So in fact, we can leave out the sine of the angle in this particular case, since the sine of all the angles will equal 1. Let's also note that the 750 Newton force is causing a rotation that would be in the clockwise fashion. And so any force that tends to rotate a body in a clockwise fashion will actually have a negative torque. So that would be the torque for the 750 Newton force. We're going to set up similar torques for the 345, 500, and 100. Let's note that for the force labeled T sub R, that that force is tending to cause rotation in the counterclockwise direction. So that torque will in fact be positive. We'll take the force and we'll multiply by the distance to the pivot, which is three meters. And then we'll set this equal to zero. Now we can pick up our calculators and simplify this term, and in fact, all those terms. Why don't we go ahead and add this term over to the right-hand side, and then divide by three to solve for TR. And when we do that, we see that T sub R, or the tension in the right-hand rope, is 1,589 newtons. If you need that in kilonewtons, you can just move the decimal over three places to the left, and so that's going to give us approximately 1.59 kilonewtons. Now, we can find the force marked T sub L by noting that the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. Again, that's because the platform is in equilibrium. So we're going to add together all the forces and set that equal to zero. Just note that these forces, the four middle forces, are pointing down, so they will be negative. Now, when we combine all the like terms and then add the result over to the other side, we can see that the force marked TL is approximately equal to 1,006 newtons. In kilonewtons, we would have 1.01 .01 kilonewtons. So that would be the correct answer. So we now know the tension in the left-hand rope as well as the right-hand rope. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.